My name is uh, Pastor Tim Coleman. I'm uh, the solo pastor at Kermit First Baptist Church. I'm Judy Lang from First Baptist Church in Vancouver. Cliff Gonzalez of Green Hills Christian Fellowship here in Calgary. Maureen Banda Chelamu, and I minister here at Brooks uh, International Gospel Church in Brooks. My name is Bill Luther. I'm pastoring the Armiston Baptist Church. Patrick Hazelwood. I'm involved here in West Lethbridge with the Well Community Church. Robin Sloboda. I'm the pastor for Seniors Ministry at Emmanuel Baptist Church. Scott Cripps. Uh, I'm the pastor at Awaken Church here in Calgary. My name is Louisa, and I'm from the Mustard Seed. And I'm Marianne, and I'm also from the Mustard Seed. Al P. I'm serving at Westwood Community Baptist Church. Janet McPhee, and I'm the pastor of Emmaus Community Fellowship. Tim Kerr, I'm the pastor at Community Baptist Church in Leduc, Alberta. I'm Jeff Logan, and I'm with Southgate Baptist Church. I'm Jody Sparger with God's House of Many Faces in the downtown east side of Vancouver. My name is Steve Rodos. I'm the executive director here at Gull Lake Center. Glenn Rodriguez. I'm uh, from Penticton, First Baptist Church. Hi, I'm Dan Taylor. I'm J.B. Crocker. And we're the pastors of uh, Bridgepoint Church in Edmonton. He's on Kua. I'm the current resident pastor of Green Hills Christian Fellowship, Vancouver. We have been in the process of uh, trying to re-envision what uh, ministry and community is going to look for like for us uh, in Kermat for the next uh, couple years or so. Endeavoring to uh, shine the light of the gospel in an area that uh, is full of people or at least has people in it who need the Lord. A neighborhood oriented church, a church that comes and lives amongst the people it's trying to reach out to. Uh, and for us, it's here at Bones. Our church community has pulled together the resources to uh, build a home for a family in Mexico. Um, this family who will be living in, uh, in a cardboard box will have a home. We're here to minister to all nations, Brooks being a, a city of diversity, so we reach out to all immigrants here in Brooks. We have the very wealthy and we have the very poor. And so as a ministry, we're trying to bridge that gulf, uh, uh, the, the great divide of, of culture and wealth and gender. We came as a response to a call from uh, a community of people who had been busing across town to a, a West Side church here in Vancouver, who started to ask, could we do church in our neighborhood? A lot of people said, well, can we meet close to creation? If we're worshiping the creator, how can we be close to creator in, uh, in our space? We don't want to sit on the sidelines, but we want to be a part of what God is doing, not only in Edmonton, but in the world around us. That's a uh, call that God has uh, called us to do in the city, and we're, we're glad that uh, uh, we can uh, be a part of that. We've been a congregation that's really reached out into our neighborhood, which is um, people from all over the world, and many of them young, with young families, uh, many of them that, that have uh, never known God or, or have, uh, have wandered from God. Seeing the glimpses of God's kingdom that are happening around us and participating with that, and helping to further God's kingdom. At 879 campers, uh, by far our biggest year, our previous record was 765, so crushed it by over 100. We changed our focus and um, decided to give away our offering. And we've been amazed at what a blessing God has uh, given to us as we've been generous with what he's blessed us with. Uh, our celebration, in fact, is in part a defiance of all that the world says really is true. With the help of God, we will continue to plant churches in order to proclaim and be witnesses of the power of the Spirit as we proclaim the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ.